Okay, now we're continuing on with the long-term notes and the bond section. Um, with this, we're going to look at the notes, long-term notes first. So, if you need money for your business, one of the first places a lot of people go, a lot of businesses go, is to the bank or to a financial institution to borrow the money. So that's what a long-term note is. The note just means that there's going to be terms associated with it, and that's the note. You sign you're going to pay back the money over a certain time period and pay interest at whatever interest rate. So that's the note. So I have some information here that we're borrowing $100,000 on October 1st. The interest is going to be payable semi-annually. So that means every six months we're going to pay the interest at 6%. No, I'm not looking at actually paying back the note right now. Maybe the note's going to be due uh, five years from now, the full amount. Um, whatever the note says is what's going to happen. But in this example, all I'm concerned about is just the interest. So on December 31st, we have to do an adjusting entry. We're not paying any interest at this point. Okay, we're not paying any interest. But since it's year end, we have to do an adjusting entry. So this would be the adjusting entry. It'd be interest expense, $1,500 interest payable 1500 now how did we get that well we took the 100,000 times 6% which gets us $6,000 that's how much interest we have to pay on an annual basis but this is just for uh, three months or for a quarter so you would divide that by a fourth a quarter and that's how you get the 1500 okay so we recorded the expense debit the expense and credit to the payable now, the next entry we are going to have to record is in March. In March, that's the six-month period because we started it in October. So six months from October 1st is March 31st. So now we actually have to pay the interest. The interest is going to be for a half of a year. So if we look at this, we have 100,000 times 6% is 6,000 for the full year. But we're just paying this semi-annually, so it's half of that. So it's $3,000. Now. We've already recorded 1,500 of interest expense. So now we're going to record the other quarter of interest expense, 1,500. We're gonna pay interest right now, so we've gotta get rid of this payable. So we've got to debit the interest payable, $1,500. And then lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write in a check. Check to the bank, whoops, I just did that wrong. I'm sorry, that shouldn't be a credit, it should be a debit because we're eliminating this payable. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to write the check out for $3,000. So this is the correct journal entry. So you can see we're putting the expense in the right time periods. We've got $1,500 of expense in this year, which is, let's say it's 2008. So in 2008, we've got $1,500. And then the other 1500 is in 2009, and so we've got the two interest expense in the right period. The payable just means we hadn't paid it yet, but now in March we're actually paying the full 3000 and so we're eliminating this payable. So I hope that makes sense. These are the interest payments, um, journal entries associated with long-term notes payable. Now, there's something called bonds. There's all sorts of different types of bonds, but we're going to be dealing with the bonds of corporations because we're looking at corporate America right now in this chapter. We're looking at a corporation borrowing money, or if they want to, a corporation uh, can sell bonds. Now, selling bonds might be a little bit uh, misleading because what they're really doing is, yeah, they're selling the bond to somebody, but what's happening is that person is just lending them money. So it really is very close or similar to a payable, a note's payable, okay? So it is a liability, a bond is a liability, but instead of borrowing money from the bank, in typically $1,000 increments, we, we borrow money from somebody else. People buy them from us, they buy the bonds, and the bonds will have specific terms. They'll say, we're gonna pay you interest at this interest rate, and we'll pay you back um, the $1,000 10 years from now, or whatever the time period is. So there's gonna be specific um, agreement or an indenture that's going to explain the terms associated with the bonds. So if this company needed, this business needed $100,000, they could, instead of going to the bank and borrowing $100,000, they could issue um, $100,000 bonds. And if people were willing to buy, them, buy these bonds, they would be giving the bonds or the money to the corporation and the corporation would have $100,000 because they sold 100 of these bonds. Now, big corporations are going to sell a lot more than 100 bonds. 
they're going to have thousands and thousands of bonds that they would want to sell, more than likely. So anyway, that's what a bond is. The chapter goes into a lot more detail on bonds, how they're calculated, the interest, whether they sell for a premium or a discount, et cetera. We're not looking at that information um, in, for this class. We're just making sure that you understand what a bond is, and it is a liability because people are lending us money. We're selling them bonds, and they're lending us money that we're going to pay back, or the corporation is going to pay back in the future at a certain interest rate also. Okay, now I'm not going to go over all these terms. There's a lot of terms here. The chapter does a very good job of explaining these terms, uh, but these are terms I just wanted to point out to make sure that as you're going through the reading, that maybe you're taking notes on these things and that you understand these terms. So we've got a coupon bonds, registered bonds, sinking fund, uh, serial bonds, uh, convertible. Now I kind of was running out of space, so I just kind of put all these bonds um, right one right after the other. You've got convertible, you've got callable, you've got junk bonds, non-redeemable, non-refundable. Once again, all these are in the chapter. You need to make sure that you understand these terms. The chapter does a great job of explaining them. Okay, so this is kind of a short chapter. We're just going over just a little section of it. Um, I've showed you the long-term note section and the bond section, and that should be enough for you guys to do a good job um, on the homework and make sure that you understand these terms. All right, good luck.